Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for March 2011. This also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So Scorpio, great deal of focus this month on your home, your creativity, your self-expression and your work particularly. This is where there's going to be a lot of focus. So let's start out with your home because we've got a Venus-Neptune conjunction towards the end of the month, particularly coming close, um, in your fourth house of home. So many of you may um, have been rescuing or helping out a family member, or you may be called to rescue and help somebody out, maybe financially, maybe somebody who's sick who needs some help, um, but somewhere you're making some sacrifices connected with home and family. Could be that you're staying in an area to be close to your home and family, when in fact there may be better job opportunities in another area. So it doesn't have to be a sacrifice feeling that feels like, oh, this is horrible. No, you may be making it willingly, but nonetheless there's this feeling of sacrifice. As well with, with Venus coming to conjunct that Neptune towards the last week of the month, there may be somebody who's in your life who you can't see their faults. You see nothing wrong with them, but in fact maybe they are taking advantage of you. So you may want to look at that. It's also going to be a wonderful time for anything very artistic or creative or something beautiful in your home that you want to create with colour or beauty in some way around you so that you can feel just more relaxed in your home space. Because that's very important for you Scorpios. You need that feeling of a protection somewhere. Now, we've got a lot going on in this fifth house of creativity this month. So it's, it's a wonderful time to start a business. If you've been thinking of starting a business or want to expand your business, want to put a business out there, this would be a great month to do it. All the planets there are shining a light on it. We've got Mercury going to be able to communicate about it. We've got Venus. You're going to be able to come across as, as something that's interesting, but something that people will feel they want and will want to buy, potentially. Got Mars there as well for much of, for the, to the latter part of the month. So you're going to be able to push out there with your energy and really be able to make an impact with whatever it is that you want to share. And this also extends to maybe performing, acting, sharing, because now for many of us with our businesses, we are performing. We have to perform in one way or another to show clients that we've got something that is attractive. On the 15th of March, we've got Jupiter conjunct Mercury. This is gonna be a very good day for mapping out your future. Should be an optimistic feeling on that date. On the 13th of March, we've got some, possibly some intense conversations where Pluto is square to Mercury. So um, it could be an emotional day, particularly as Pluto is your ruling planet. So maybe just go wary about what it is you speak out on that particular date. Um, on the 21st to the 23rd of March, we've got the Sun conjunct Uranus in your sign. So this could be a day of unpredictable events. Okay, a day where you really feel you've got to break out of old patterns. And boy, with Uranus coming into Aries, Uranus coming into your sixth house after March the 12th, this could be some disruption to your work schedules that may have been, you may have had certain routines. Don't expect these routines to continue. Expect some shakeups, expect some changes. Now, if you don't dig your heels in Scorpios, this could be great. This could be a wonderfully exciting time where you can be innovative, come up with new ideas in your work area, ideas that are going to make your work more efficient, more effective. But you will, you will have to go much more with the flow. You will have to change and adapt more quickly. Jupiter's in that house of work as well, so there should be some new opportunities coming to you this month as well in your house of work. And after about the third week of the month as well, the sun is there shining a light on your house of work. So this is going to be a really important and good month potentially with anything in the work area. Also with anything where you're helping out, maybe volunteering. This would be a good month to do that kind of a thing as well. Um, so back to this fifth house activity. Um, very important if you can to do something that you feel is creative, that's just you, that you enjoy doing. Maybe it's something you enjoy doing with your hands. Maybe it's something you enjoy dancing. It needs to be pleasurable. Scorpios, you need to have a bit more fun. 
you are taking life quite seriously for the most part at the moment. This is the fun month. This is when the planets are in this fifth house of enjoying, of being like a child, acting like a child, playing with children if you like children, whatever it is, but finding that deeply expressive part of you. Maybe the hobby that becomes the business that can earn you money. Whatever it is, make sure you go out and you enjoy yourself this month because that's what the planets are asking you to do. I know we've got Saturn in your 12th house. Many of you are experiencing some completions and that will be going on for another year or so. But this month particularly is the month for pleasure and enjoyment. The longer transit we've got is Pluto in your third house. Now I've got um, a couple of clients in fact um, have gone into studying, deep study of the environment. I've got one who's actually started a recycling business during this transit and he's actually doing very very well with it because Pluto Capricorn it rules the earth, how we're treating the earth but it could also mean that you want to go into uh, studying about the earth, about earthquakes, about weather patterns, about um, how we can protect our earth because boy we're sure going to need to do that in the years to come. So Scorpios, the focus this month, enjoying yourself, having some fun, maybe starting a business, your work area and quite a lot of changes happening in the work area and as well being aware that your health, you may have energy ups and downs, you'll feel one minute full of energy and the next minute you need to rest. Pay attention to those messages, make sure you listen to them and don't push yourself because Scorpios you have a tendency to push, don't push yourselves too far beyond those intuitive messages telling you when it is time for you to stop. Thank you very much for listening, for those of you that haven't seen on my website you can get a free chart, you just stick in your details, date, time, place of birth and it will bring up your wheel so you can find out what your ascendant is, what your moon is and if you want listen to those different forecasts each month <clears throat> and see what resonates with you. So I thank you very much for listening and I wish you a great month. Bye for now.